The funniest thing about this is that my camera actually recognizes this as a face. But beyond that, this is the original Pee Wee Herman Playhouse scooter. Uh, figurine and the scooter itself with a, a, a brain looking helmet kind of thing. And uh, not much else. I got this on eBay for six bucks. And I thought that was kind of funny. Because when I was a kid, growing up in the late 1980s, early 1990s, I was born in 84, to give you an idea. Um, I loved this show, Pee Wee's Playhouse. It was my favorite show. Um, I did not miss a single episode. Sadly, I don't remember most of them. Um, because they really weren't rem they weren't memorable in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> but I uh, I had a couple of the Pee Wee to uh, toys in 1987. No, I'm sorry, Christmas of 1988. I received a Pee Wee telephone, which wasn't a real phone. It was a it was a toy phone and a Pee Wee poseable doll, the full sized one. Actually, the one shown back here. And there's actually, you know what? I didn't. That wasn't a Pee Wee phone, idiot. That was a an Inspector Gadget phone. Anyway, I had this doll. I had the the full sized Pee Wee doll. And my mom told me, don't play with it. You'll you'll ruin it, and it'll be worth all kinds of money someday. Oddly enough, that doll is worth like twenty bucks. <laughs> Probably less than she paid for it. Uh, but long story short, I have long lost that, and um, it, it, it got lost in a move or something. It was in my stuffed animal pile so for many years, and I haven't seen the thing since at least the uh, early 90s when it disappeared. But anyhow, I had this, this full-sized figurine. I didn't have any of the other toys, and as I just remembered, that phone was not a Pee-wee phone. It was an Inspector Gadget phone. But anyway, here are the other... Uh, this is the full playset that, if you can find it today, is actually worth something. Um, it includes the Playhouse set, all of the... No, it didn't include all the toys. I think it came with the, the Scooter and potentially Pee-wee himself. But other than that, you don't really get much with that. Um, of course, this is Terry, which is a pterodactyl. And this was Billy Baloney. And he had one figurine. Oh, there it is. Randy. Who, for the longest time, reminded me of um, Andy Richter, which I, I thought for sure that that's who it was based off of, but it wasn't. Interesting. Um, Cherry, which, growing up, I remember a lot of Cherry knockoffs. In fact, my sister had one. It was pink. And it wasn't really a full-size one. You could sit in it if you were a young child, but... It looked a little bit like cherry, and, uh, but anyway. The sad thing is, my favorite TV show as a kid was canceled in uh, 1991, I think? Um, after the scandal in the movie theater. Now, you got to realize that as a kid, I didn't know what he did. I had no idea, and... Um, I had, I had no clue that what he did was so, you know, inappropriate. Um, first of all, my parents didn't really tell me what he did. I didn't find out until years later when I actually found the news article and read it myself. But uh, he was basically in a movie theater, and uh, it was an adult movie theater. And he had done some inappropriate acts upon himself that aren't uh, conducive of a figure in the children's television industry. That is probably the most uh, politically correct way I could put it. If you're not sure, look it up on your own. But again, they canceled the show because obviously they didn't want you know, him associated with a, uh, a children's program. And uh, sadly, we lost a terrific show. And, um, and his career was put on hiatus. Uh, for quite a while, and he's just now coming back. That's Paul Rubens, by the way, if you weren't familiar. 
Paul Rubens was also in a, um, not only was he a stand-up comedian, but he was also in uh, one or a few Cheech and Chong movies, which <laughs> begs me to question how they thought, how they ever thought, that this man was good for a children's show. Now, the PB character himself is really just a, uh, at the time, a 30-year-old man-child, if you will, and, um, you know, appeals to children. But to have an actor who was in such not-for-children uh, <laughs> movies portray this guy and do it with a straight face, I'll never understand how that ever happened. It's like if they took Marilyn Manson, threw some makeup on him, and put him on a TV show for kids, or had him as a guest star on on Yo Gabba Gabba or something like that. You know, I mean, you just wouldn't do it. Now, in the 80s, they had people like George Carlin playing... Mr. Conductor on Training Time Station, so I guess it was an anything goes decade, but nevertheless, it was a great show for me. Uh, as a kid, I loved watching it. Um, that and uh, my, it was my Saturday morning lineup uh, uh, Garfield and Pee Wee and um, Ninja, Ninja Turtles, and uh, there was one other show. Yeah, those are the ones that I used to watch a lot of. Nevertheless, on my little black and white 12-inch TV that I had. Over the air, of course. But I bought this because it was $6, not because I, I, I had to have it. It was 6 bucks. It was worth the investment because I'll never see another one. Or so I thought. After I bought this one, I found like a whole bunch of these on, the, on eBay in better condition uh, for just a little bit more money. So there's a ton of these out there. And they're not asking a whole lot for them. You can get the whole playset if you want for like 250 bucks. Um, but I wouldn't have bought it if it was any more than six star or whatever I paid for it. But the packaging's a little curled. But anyway, I'm never going to open it. I, I actually, I really bought it because obviously it's a motor scooter. And, you know, I'm obsessed with those. But I have a few of these other ones. These are from the Simpsons, my, my back, I, I got these as Christmas gifts, and this is Luigi, my, I never got any of the real major characters, I just got the oddball ones, something tells me my mom got them on sale, um, this is the kind of stuff that she usually gets me for Christmas, but, um, like, here's Uter, and, uh, I have Helen Lovejoy, and of all people, Brad Goodman, uh, who was the psychologist, or, um, the hell was he? He was the marriage counselor, I think, in one of the episodes. Always got the weird ones, you know, the ones that you just wouldn't... I guess people were buying up the major characters, and they weren't, they were ignoring these lesser-known ones. These are the ones that I haven't opened. I opened Professor Frink, which I regret, and, um... I think I had a couple of them up here. Um, no, I just had the, I just opened the Professor Frank one. Oh, yes, and this. This is the treehouse. It's missing pieces now. But as you can see, that's, these are the ones where you put the character on the platform and press a button and they speak. Whatever. <laughs> I'm not really a collector. I just got these and I hang them on the wall. The only one of the the only toy that I ever paid money for that I ever bought was this. This is Marge's car, and uh, I wanted Homer's car, but I couldn't find one, so I settled for this. So, you get what you get, right? Anyway, I never erased this. This is from my G5 video. I should erase that before it becomes permanently bonded to the board. Anyway, well that's it for now. Enjoy.